morning. Pag sinabi ko kasi good evening, pagod na kayo. Galing kayo sa Lutiata, galing kayo sa Tutoro, galing kayo sa Maynila. Okay, for the past two days, I have been awake at uh, 3 o'clock in the morning yesterday. Ibising ko si Missy sapagkat papunta siya ng Vietnam ang hapon ng Masis Tumaga. So I have to bring her to the airport earlier around 3.30 and then came in now we took the first flight 5 o'clock in the morning. So when you tell her to give me 3 o'clock in Tumaga, Masis na ng Pasay at the airport which is 5 minutes away from us. Kasi I anticipated na marami ang pupunta ng Boracay Maraming pupunta ng probinsya because there will be what? May 1 is uh, uh, April 30 para magpakasyon. So, to what we expected, meron yan. Okay? And it's nice to be here in this part of the country. And uh, it's hot, pero mas mahimik sa impyerno. Amen? Are you safe? I'm happy to see you and perhaps this is the first time that you will be hearing me but some of the members because the people have been in my church but nasa may nilang sila but sila na the church in fact si JD ay naroon sa church at is doing well and kanina inabot namin kay Pastor Tito yung kanyang tithes yung kanyang offerings at saka yung gift niya kay Pastor Tito kasi sa amin I'm not interested with them I'm not after you. I just want you to attend and then when you go back home, eh, alam mo yung dapat mong gawin. Uh, 1996 when I became the pastor of the church. 1996 when I took over the church in Pasay, it was not that well. Hindi uh, ko ganon, limang pong tao lang ho na tira sa church namin. Nawalo po yun. At uh, it was so difficult because There was a big problem that happened to our church. In fact, nung ako huwag naging pastor, sabi ng isa, nakababata ko, I don't like you to be my pastor. Kasi wala kang ituturo sa amin. Dahil nag-uhugas ka ng ritim ng nanay ko, at sabay tayo pumake. So ibig sabihin sa kasama ko, ako ay mukhang tanga. Okay? The thing about me is this, I don't reject my critic. If somebody is criticizing me, I don't reject it. Kasi it clarifies me. That's right. Tanga ba ako? Pwede. Mukha ba akong tanga? Siguro. Pwede ba ako maging tanga? Pwede. Okay? Tanga ba ako? Hindi pa. So, possible. The second person that came to me and said, Alam mo, hapon mo lang sa amin yung pera namin. Have you ever heard that? Narin mo na ba yan sabi sa gusto? Eh si pastor ka na abalang sa amin pera eh. Diba? So dito naman sa mga yung ito, hindi lang ko mukhang tanga, mukhang pera na ako. Then I told them, let me earn your respect. Sabi nila, aalis kami. And sabi ko din na kasi ever as friends. Para kung saan tayo magkita, kung saan tayo pumunta, magkaroon tayo ng elbows, magkita tayo sa sasakyan, sa palengke, we will not hide from each other. We're still friends. Right. Sabi naman yung isa, ayaw ko ito maging pastor kasi bubuntisin ko lang ang mga babae dito. Ito ha, mukhang tanga, mukhang pera, ito masama na mukhang banyak na ako dito. Mukhang rapist na ako. Ang tanong, totoo ba yun? Pwede! Am I right? Pwede! Pwede rin naman hindi. But in the past 18 years na ako dito, I thank God by the grace of God that those things never happen. Amen. In fact, when the church was brought up, it was to me, garahi lamang po yung aming simbahan. It's just a garage. Okay? But I preach the word of God, I preach with no, nothing, no inhibition, but the pure word of God, I told them, let us build our families. Let's build our faith. Amen. Let's go back to what the Bible says. Wonderfully, the Lord raised our faith. Sabi ko sa nila, 
Yung ayaw sumama sa soul winning, okay lang yun. But you cannot threaten me by you not joining me. Kasi ang philosophy ko, if you help me in my ministry, it's your blessing. Amen. But if you don't help me, it's your loss. Amen. If you hinder me, it's your loss. Okay? Pag hindi mo ako tinulungan, lungin ka. Pag hindi mo ako tinulungan, hinaglangan mo ako, lungin ka. Pero pag tinulungan mo ako, blessing mo yan. Amen. Wonderfully, they joined me. Families were being added to the church. Okay? And for the first time in our church, December of 1996, okay? After preaching this message, that's what I'll be preaching it tonight. Okay? We were able to have two point, uh, 1.2 million tithes, 500,000 pesos of mission suffering, 600,000 sa aming first fruits, and 300,000 sa aming building fund on the first year. Puro bago yun, ha? Amen. 50 lang ang remnant. Okay? And in 1997, January, okay? The first year of my being a pastor, nagkaroon na kami ng building program. Okay? We did the first foundation, the next foundation, 1915, 1915, until whatever you see in Pasay right now was the product of raising our faith. I'm not in a fundraising campaign. I'm in a faith raising campaign. We raise faith. Because if you want God to do something in your life, it is on the basis of faith. Okay? Basis of faith. If you want some miracles in life, it should be based on faith. Okay? Not on your circumstances, but on faith. Okay? And, uh, ngayon po, you can ask some of your members to be there. You can see, I should say, no, no exaggeration. One of the most beautiful auditorium. Amen. See ang palang namin, mahihiya ka ng pumunta. Amen. Okay? Because my philosophy is this. We are Baptists. Amen. And as Baptist, it must be beautiful. That's right. When we sing, it must be beautiful. Do you enjoy the special numbers? Yes. I love the quartet. I love the saxophone. Amen. One of the wonderful instruments that God has given is the sax. I like it. Amen. Thank you for playing it. It thrills my heart. Amen. Yeah, I, I, I was so thrilled to hear you play sax. It, it rejuvenates me. Mm, amen. And when we build a building, it must be beautiful. When we preach, it must be beautiful. Amen. When we worship, it must be beautiful. You know why? We do it for the glory and the honor and the praise of our God. I don't need to remind my people that it must be beautiful. It should be beautiful. You know why? Pag nakakita ka ng simbahang palaki, maganda, kulay verde ang bubong, malinis, pag may pananambahan, sarado na, pag clay, anong simbahan niya? Ay, iglesia. Right? Pag nakakita ka ng simbahan na maganda, May basic pulan. Ano yan? Pag nakakita ka ng simbahan na medyo antigo ang pagkakaganda, ang pagkakagawa, pero maganda pa rin. Okay? Yung antak na maganda. Marami nga lang nakatayo. Ano yun? Pag nakakita ka naman ng simbahan na hindi tapos. Na may aso kumagala habang napipunit yung pasto. Okay? At pagkatapos pagpunta ka ng CR, maluluha ka muna bago ka maihi. Ano yun? Baptist. Panahon na para pabuhin natin kayo. Amen! You're singing with your family. Amen! Yung simbahan ng iglesia alay nila sa Diyos nila yan. Na hindi Diyos ng Bible. Yung simbahan ng Mormons, alay nila sa Diyos nila, hindi Diyos ng Bible. And you see, you have seen yung St. Peter's Basilica. 
Alay na sa Diyos nila yan na hindi Diyos ng bayo. Tapos tayo sinasabi natin, simbahan sa ng Panginoon. Hinitutunto ng Ginoo. Mm. Gawain ito ng Diyos. Amen, right? Nilintas ng Ginoo ang aking kaluluwa at ang aking talag. Amen. Tapos gano'n ang ating buhay. Mm. Amen? Amen. Amen. We should add quality. That's right. Amen? Let us all stand up, please. Turn your Bible in the book of Genesis 8, verse number 22. We will talk about the seeds of faith. Say this, seeds of faith. Come on, say it. Seeds of faith. Seeds of faith. Come on. Seeds of faith. Can you hear me at the back? Amen. If you can hear me at the back, definitely the people in front can hear me. Anong sabi ng Genesis 8.22? Okay? If you want your family to be better, if you want your church to be better, if you want to be better in, in, individually, financially, emotionally, physically, we need to have seeds of faith. Okay? Genesis 8.22, basahin natin na sabay-sabay, ready? Read. While the earth remains, seed that and harvest, and cold and heat, and summer and winter, and day,
Mm. I was asking myself. May magkakagusto ba sa akin? Kasi ako na beses na akong binastin eh. Okay? Ako na beses. Four times ako nireject. Okay? Masakit yun eh. Tama? Sabi ko lang sa kanila, nireject niyo ako, binastin niyo ako, okay? Sa susunod na magkikita tayo, I'll show to you that the Lord will bless me. I'll see to you that my faith will grow para pag nagkita tayo ulit, iparamdam ko sa isang tagsayang. Okay? Right. Iparamdam ko sa'yo, sayang sana ikaw para naging boyfriend ko. Okay? E di pinag-iigi ko yun. Nanonood ako kay pastor. Nag-imprint siya ng word of God. Tinitignan ko yung sinasabi niya. Sabi ko, kung totoo ang word of God, paniniwalaan ko ito. Okay? Amen. You see? 
pangalan ang napangarami ng reputasyon ang nasira because of money. Right. Hindi mo napapansin, people will lie to each other because they would like to hide their money. Mm. Diba? Yeah. That's right. Kung minsan nalulungkot tayo, whether too little or too much money, it will be a problem in the family. That's right. Pag maraming pera, pag wala ang ginoong, wala ang pulong sa ginoong, wala ang gawain ng Panginoon, wala kang karakter, kakainin ka ng pera, at ang anak mo is Paul Brad. That's right. Yeah. Hindi niya kakayanin ang humarap sa responsibility. Yeah. That's why we need to teach them to have a character that will say, ito yung kailangan ko. Okay? Alam niyo po mga kapatid, people will change because of money. That's right. Money changes people. Merong isang tao sa Florida, nanalo siya ng $27 million sa lottery. Tuwan-tuwa sila. Okay? Sabi ko ka nake, sweetheart, uuwi na ako, mag-impaki ka na. Okay? Tumama ako sa loob ng $27 million. Talaga? Saan tayo pupunta? Tropical? Snow? Winter? What? Hindi.
Bakit tayo mahirap kasi pasto ka? Bakit din tayo kumakain ng masarap? Bakit ang damit ko luma? Bakit sa ukin-ukin tayo lagi nabili? Kasi save tayo? Hindi ba dapat pag save tayo, iba yung buhay natin? Right. Amen? Amen. Anong sabi ng Panginoon? Huwag di air premier, seat premier, hagos, and go with it, and summon with it, and they not, shall not cease. Amen. 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 Amen.
Church pa tinitipid mo. Amen. 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 Pero pag in-offer mo 1,000 That's right. Yeah. Right. Right. Amen. 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 Doon ka magtakarin. Amen? Amen. Hindi saan? Sa church. Amen? Pag nagdaling ka niyan, 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago now, paging kinagdala ng anak mo yan. Amen. Paging kinagdala ng apo mo yan. Amen. Nakita mo, ang bigas ng ginoong si Abraham, na ipasa kay Isaac, na ipasa kay Jacob, na ipasa sa kanya ng apo. Amen? Amen? Right. Na umabot kay Jesus Christ. Right. Amen? Right? Yes. Bakit? Naibabasa ang blessing. Amen. At naibabasa din ang sumpa. That's right. Pag hindi ka naging maayos, may mabasa mo yung tell of blessing first. Mm. Do you Amen. want a family that was first by God? Ayaw? Ayaw? Right. Ayaw ka naman. Ibabasa ko yung blessing ng gino mo. Amen. Amen? Amen? So, we need first the earth. Second, we need sin. Say sin. Sin. Sin always reproduce. Right. Sin always multiply. Do you understand? Tumadami yan. Tama? Yung buong araw mo, pag inabot mo, kumakarat eh. Di ba? Kukuyang kati, kati, yan kumakarat na. Yung watch na kumakarat. Amen? You didn't see. Okay? Ang sin, it is a substance ng vegetable o ng, ng animal na ang kanyang nature was to reproduce and to conserve the species. Okay? Halimbawa, a seed is anything that can multiply or reproduce. Sa family mo, lagi may nag-aaway. You know why? No one is sowing love. Yeah, that's right. Magtanin ka ng love, aani ka ng love. Amen. Ano ba tinatanin mo? Hatred. Right. Anong tinatanim mo? May kayo naman buwi! Sakal eh! Ang kapal na mukha mo, matahin kayo ka pa rito! Ang gusto sa lutsiyo, para ka sa buhay mo, hanta ako dito! Hmm. Kasi yun ang itinatanim. Yeah. Tama? Pag tinanong mo, ano, ano na kayo sa'yo? Kinaba ka naman ako, baka nahold up ka na, baka may nangyari sa'yo, may pasensya ka na. Kasi yung pinundahan ko, walang signal. Nagkahanap ako, hindi na ako nakatawag, tsaka nalobar ako. Sorry ha. Eh, bakit gano'n ang sagot? Kasi gano'n ang tanong ko. That's right. Amen? Amen. Magtanim ka ng understanding, aani ka ng understanding. Amen. Sa pamilya namin, we always say, seek first to understand, then to be understood. That's right. Ikaw muna ang umunawa, ako ang unawain. Amen. Because if everybody would say, intindihin mo ako, intindihin mo ako, eh, di ba lang ka magkakaintindihan? Iintindihin mo na kita, at saka mo ako maiintindihan. I will so understand it first. Okay? I will so love. Okay? I'm so tired. Do you remember the story? Sabi ng bata, tired, tired. How much do you earn per hour? Mga 400 pesos. Per hour. Tired? Sandali ha, may titignan na naman. Tired? Pautak naman ng 200. Sinasabi ko naman ba, pera na gusto mo eh. Kaya sige na, pautak na ako ng 200. Ang palutok na ako, tatanong-tanong ka, hihihihan pa ng pera. Sabuha kami din! Basta pera, please. Kasi tayo may 200 pesos na ako. Wala ako ng 200. Sabuha kami din! Tayo may 400 pesos na ako. Pwede bigyan mo ako ng oras, isang oras na mag-usap. Amen! When was the last time you talked as a family? When was the last time you date your son? I 
always take my son in the Bible. I give time to them. In fact, before I preach, I was calling them and not pray for me right now. My youngest son was the one who woke me up this morning. Dad, it's 3 o'clock. I don't think I was up already. I was praying. Thank you. We hug and kiss each other. You know why? Nagtatanin ako ng kiss sa ano. Never that a day will pass without me saying, I love you. Amen. I'm proud of you. You're my greatest gift. Alam mo kung siya na nagsimula yan? Nung malaman kong buntis ang asawa. Amen. Kinausap ko na. Sabi ko, hindi ko alam kung lalaki o babae ko. Pero kung sino mga kubag ka, let me tell you, I am your father. At ito yung i-recite ko. I am a Bible Baptist. The Bible is the Word of God. King James. Araw-araw sinasabi ko sa kanya, I hate sin because God hates sin. I am a problem solver. I am a blessing. I am the head, not the dead. I am above, not the dead. I am Superman. I will solve problems. And these are your memory verses. Why memorize the word I command you to learn this section? And this word which I command you to say, Champina in heart. Ako ma, ang imperative. To learn me level 18. Therefore, your name is my word in your heart and in your soul. And by the word sign, a panel hand that may be this. From the spirit with thy eye, sinimulan ko yun ng buntis ang asawa ko. Walang nagturo sa akin yan. I ask God, I slept from the scripture when Manoah learned that his wife was pregnant. Ano sabi ni Manoah? Lord, papato mo pala na may inang batang ito. I lose that statement. Lord, punti sa masawa ko because I believe that life begins after sensation. Kaya mo ba ang usapin yung pagday na basta na it's too late? Nasa dyan pa lang na usapin mo na siya. Buhay na yan. Inakausok ko na yan para at si John 23 sa December. Kinakausap niya. Sabi ko, anak, huwag sana dumating na isang araw magkikita tayo sa kanya. Hindi mo ko papansin kasi kinahihiyan mo ko. Huwag sana dumating na mayroong araw na hindi tayo nagkasunto and then you will sleep without kissing me and without hugging me. Don't you ever do that, anak. Because I love you and I am so thankful that you were given to me by God. Amen. Araw-araw we do that. Amen. My wife is now is in Vietnam. I called her up and said, Ma, I am in the seashore because the signal is so bad. Dad, this boy is not here. Relationship is more important than that. You know that. I love you. Pray for me. I'm here. Brown up. I need your help. After I preach, I will call her up again. Ma, thank you for praying. Pray for me again. Amen. Wala akong pakialam sa distance. Wala akong pakialam sa pera. Ang mahalaga sa akin ang anak ko. I came from a dysfunctional family. I never heard my father tell me, I love you. I never heard my father tell me, I'm proud of you. Wala akong naramdaman ganoon. In fact, pinanigay ako ng tatay at ng nanay ko. Because they cannot feed us. Okay? I don't know if I'm a human being or a kitten or a puppy. Pinanigay ako. Ako at saka yung bunsok namin kapag ako yung panganay. Growing up in that kind of situation, what will I do? I thank God na may akong pulong sa gito. I thank God na may pastor na tulong sa akin. And then, tinignan ko, ito pala sinasabi ng Word of God. And it changes everything. Amen. And I told God, Lord, salamat po. Ngayon, professionals na yung mga anak ko. Okay? And I am so proud of them. We, Jake is a witness of God, tsaka yung anak ni Pastor Joe, they see, we're a normal family. Sometimes,